when to hunt and when not to hunt. For me, there's never not a good time to hunt. I start hunting deer in Kentucky in the first week of, of September when they're in velvet. It's 100 degrees outside, and we kill a lot of big ones that time of the year. So do many other people. And I hunt them all the way to the last day of February where you shoot them and their antlers might fall off. And the strategies between the day I start and the day I end are vastly different as you go through the entire year, the entire process. And what we may be doing in Texas at X day is totally gonna to be different in Michigan. And you always have to keep that in mind, but you can't kill one sitting on the couch. That's the given. But at the same time, you don't necessarily wanna go into your best spots just to go into them. You wanna make sure the conditions are perfect for that area. So if I've got the urge to hunt and I'm seeing a deer on a scouting camera over here, and but I know the biggest deer on the place is over here, but if I go in there, I'm liable to bust that deer, the conditions are not right, I probably need to bite the bullet and go over here so I can enjoy the hunt. Maybe I don't kill the biggest deer that day. Maybe I don't even see a deer, but I got a chance to go out and hunt and learn a little bit more about the deer movement that may pay off at another time on how these deer are getting in and out of certain areas. And that's why a lot of guys have so many different stands. You fast forward through all of those mindsets and you get into the rut versus the pre-rut versus the post-rut. The pre and the post, those are windows of time that I think are very rough to decide because deer rut for a long period of time. Not all does are bred on X day. We've got a bunch of urban deer where I live. The first doe is going to be bred about Halloween, and the last doe is going to be bred about mid-January. And there's rutting activity all during that window. Yes, there are peaks. Yes, there are conditions that we see more rutting activity than others. But there's a rut, and there's a doe in heat that's susceptible to being bred any given time during that period. And so as a hunter, you wanna play those prevailing winds. You wanna get in areas of high percentage. You wanna sneak in and out of those stands all the time and just hunt. Don't sit there and wait and think that because somebody wrote a book or somebody wrote a phase, this is chances of killing one in this lull or this dead period or, or slim. Yeah, it may not be as good as they are at other times, but I promise you when you're sitting on the couch, you got zero chance to kill a deer. So the times of the day to hunt is another topic we often sit around and debate. In the early season when it's really hot, I really don't like to hunt in the mornings at, at all. I think a lot of the deer are bedded down in key areas. The range early in the season when it's hot is much smaller than it is uh, later in the year when they're starting to range more for forage, conditions are cooler, hunting pressure starting to pick up, push them around a little bit, the rut's starting to go on. But early in the year, I think that deer kind of stay in a much smaller area. They know where their food source is, they know where they're gonna water, and they know where they're gonna bed. They're gonna run around in a bachelor group in a lot of those situations. And by hunting in the morning and trying to sneak into those key areas, a lot of times you can push them out. But in the evenings, you slide in there, two or three hours before dark, get up in your stand, you're probably gonna have a, a pretty good period of no action, and then that last 45 minutes, chaos can break loose. I mean, I've seen it in Kansas one time, we were sitting there glassing deer, hundreds and hundreds of yards away, waiting for that sun to get low, we had a big soybean field behind us. All of a sudden, that shade line got right out in that field, and all these deer started coming in waves. They were headed to water, they were headed to that soybean field. It was early in the season, probably 95 degrees. Big bucks, little bucks, we were muzzleloader hunting and we had a big one stop just perfect, sitting under a tree, and it all paid out for an evening hunt. 